Please welcome James Tilstein. So, like Shivani said, I've been a member of Forethought for the past four years. And as you can imagine, being a member of the resident philosophy club for four years can have its fair share of aha moments. You know, I'd been more of a casual member my freshman and sophomore year, but my junior year, I really found my footing in the club. I remember there's days I'd come home and go tell my mom, Hey mom, did you know time is an abstract concept created by humans to measure the change in objects? Time exists independently from the universe. To which my mom would reply, uh, why'd you get a 71 on your last physics test? Uh, <laughs> which admittedly was probably the, the reality check that I needed after tearing a hole through the fabric of time in Clarkstown North Classroom. Uh, nonetheless, you know, Philosophy Club has been one of the most enriching experiences for me at Clarkstown North. Uh, so at the end of my junior year, I thought back to all the new concepts and ideologies I've been exposed to and tried to figure out how they would incorporate into my life. I mean, sure, I had debated the intrinsic value of a human life, had Michael Conti attempt to explain to me the bending of space-time, and could someone coherently describe Schrodinger's cat? It's like when you put a cat in a microwave and it's like dead and alive at the same time. It's just weird. I'll spare the details. Um, yet, as I tried to process all this newly acquired philosophy into a more profound understanding of the world, I was drawing a blank. And I mean, I wasn't drawing a blank because I hadn't learned anything in forethought. I mean, the discussions had exposed me to so many new perspectives. The issue was, a lot of these perspectives were so contradicting and foreign to me at the time. Digesting all these perspectives into one cohesive idea I could incorporate into my life, it just, it wasn't something that my 18-year-old mind was really interested in at the time. I mean, I got like APs and stuff, and now I have to be like the living personification of philosophy. Like, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> However, I soon realized that the sum of all these ideas wasn't really as complex as I thought. Basically, I decided that nothing I do or say really matters. <laughs> I don't matter. Forethought taught me that I'm such a tiny, minuscule blimp on the face of the universe that it's just a matter of time till everything I do is eventually forgotten. And that's a good thing. Uh, let, let me explain. I mean, don't get me wrong, at first that was like a really bleak and daunting premise to accept into my life and I started to question my choice in extracurriculars. <laughs> but after deeper thought, I liked my own irrelevance. In fact, I embraced it. If I'm really the only thing that matters and the universe is just like weird or whatever, um, then I should really be living my life to satisfy no one except myself. I'm not saying that you should be a selfish jerk, but you shouldn't worry about little arbitrary things like how many Facebook likes your profile picture has. I mean, not to get like too Bill Nye about this, but we live on this rock that's hovering in a vacuum and hurtling around like a flaming ball of hydrogen every second of our lives. Does that like scare anyone else? I think it's kind of terrifying. How do we not just fall off the side? It's a sphere, like, okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> the point is, carpe diem. You know, live in the moment. Do you. Uh, wear that weirdly colored shirt. You know, go for a spontaneous picnic on a nice day. Uh, tell that slightly off-color joke to that sophomore you barely know on the track team. Or, you know, maybe don't do that one, because that was actually really awkward. <laughs> but above all, just make sure that everything you do is for your own personal fulfillment. Uh, I mean, this, this aha is admittedly pretty juvenile. I'm not claiming to be like the enlightened philosopher coming out here to tell you that he looked through his philosophy microscope and like discovered the meaning of life is nothing. But what I am saying that my own like optimism through nihilism type of attitude has helped me to appreciate everything in life just like a little bit more. Uh, you know, the universe is just a bewildering and preposterous thing to try to understand. So, just be happy that you're a part of it, and be the most you that you can be. Thank you.